What's up guys, No Hit Jerome here with a guide on making the best gold in Classic WoW. I've been doing this method for over two months now and I've gotten over 50,000 gold from it. I've gotten dozens of Librams of Constitution, Librams of Veracity, I've gotten a lot of different epics like uh, several sets of Edgemaster's Handguards and Hurricanes. It's the single best source in the game for Runecloth, it's the best source in the game for Relic Coffer Keys. And it's amazing for getting bags as well, like Traveler's Backpacks. It's amazing for getting uh, the pumpkin bags when the, the Halloween event was going on. I got a bunch of pumpkin bags from it. So it's, it's amazing for gold, but it's also the best way to get experience in the game as well. I've leveled all of my accounts to 60 using this method. So today I'm going to share it with you, and maybe you can benefit from this incredibly overpowered method. Okay, to get started, we're going to need to talk to the NPC Thunderheart, who's in Kargath. Now this NPC will roam around sometimes, so he's not always going to be there. But check back every 10 minutes or so, and he'll definitely show up. So we're going to get the quest Disharmony of Flame. And this quest is super easy. We're just going to go to the entrance to BRD. We're going to kill Overmaster Pyron. Now this is a fire and elemental, right? So he's not going to take any fire damage. But he can easily be taken down with frost spells or arcane explosions. So it's no problem at all. And so once he's dead, we're going to go back to Kargath, turn that quest in at Thunderheart. And then we're going to head over to the top of the tower in Kargath and talk to Galamav, and he's going to give us a quest called Commander Gorshak. Now this quest is the Holy Grail here. Now that we have this quest, we're all set to go into BRD and start this incredible overpowered farming. So I would, at this point, you need to take your group. If you're multi-boxing, take everybody to BRD, and uh, you're going to have to clear the first few packs of mobs and get to the prison cell. Now this is right next to the entrance, right off the entrance. is about three packs of mobs away from the entrance to BRD. So you need to get inside of this prison cell. So how do you get inside? You need a key. And this is dropped by Gerstan, who is an NPC that is real close. He is, he's just a few steps away. And you're going to need to kill that NPC and get this key. And at least somebody in your party is always going to get the key when you kill him, as far as I can tell. It's been 100% for me so far. So you're going to need to kill Gerstan, get that key, come back to the cell, open the cell, and you're going to talk to Commander Gorshak. And once you do this, everything is, is set to go. So I'm running five mages on each setup. I, and this is how I'm getting so much gold. So I'm, I'm doing two different sets of BRD prison at the same time, right? So the first thing you're going to need to do, talk to Gorshak, and you're going to need to turn the quest in, Commander Gorshak. And he's going to give you a quest called What's Going On. The second you accept this quest, uh, a wave of enemies, six enemies, is going to run into the prison cell, and they're going to start attacking Gor uh, Gorshak. So you wait until he, uh, Gorshak punches twice, and then you, you're all going to cast Flame Strike and... Uh, and then spam your, your Frost Nova, your Arcane Explosion, and your, uh, your Blast Wave. So this is, this is a really, really, really simple setup, and it's consistent, and it's incredible golden X XP. So the first thing that you need to realize about this method is that you're killing six enemies, and you control exactly how fast or how slow these enemies come into the door. So it's entirely up to you at the pace at which you want to go. So that's the first advantage to this setup. The second advantage is that it's completely safe. So in World PvP, when I needed to farm enough gold to get 200 sapper charges per day, I was able to do this method constantly, and I never had to worry about getting killed by anybody. So it's an incredible method for uh, safety and consistency, because you're controlling exactly how fast or slow you want to go, and you're always safe from enemies. So I've, I've developed a number of tricks for doing this method, but the simple answer uh, to how to do this efficiently is you need a macro to turn the quest in and drop the quest. Because you do not want to ever accidentally turn this quest in and complete it and get the X XP. Because what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to do the prison farm anymore. So I have, I have actually turned the quest in several times by mistake. So the first thing you need to do is set up a macro. I'm going to put a macro on the screen and in the description, uh, which I'm using. So there are a number of macros you could use, including one that drops a specific quest ID. But I find it easier to just drop the the top quest in my log, which is what my macro does. And so this, this is going to be frustrating for some people because obviously they have other quests they want to do. But the reality is once you get into BRD prison, you're set for life on XP and gold. So this is an incredible method for getting XP as well. So you're not going to have to worry about turning in quests by mistake. So the macro I'm using is really efficient. And I would highly recommend after you start the quest to immediately use the macro to drop the quest again because the, the uh, question mark will sometimes disappear and so you won't know whether you've turned the quest in or not. And I've turned it in by mistake because of this. And another thing to worry about is uh, when you're looting and you accidentally talk to Gorshak, this will cause some serious problems because you might accidentally turn the quest in. So the macro I'm using uh, basically just targets Gorshak, which is, which is nice because sometimes he's untargetable when there's a bunch of loot on the ground, and also it drops the quest. And then it also, uh, because it leaves him targeted, all I have to do is press my interact with target key, which will simulate uh, clicking on him. 
So I don't ever have to click on Gorshak or worry about where he is. Uh, I'm always using hotkeys for everything. And this allows me to multiply my setup as well, which, is, which comes to why we're getting so much gold and XP from this. Because I'm running 10 characters at once doing this method. And this is where some people might be wondering, why, why do people say multiboxing is pay to win? Well, this is a good example, right? Because I'm able to do this with 10 accounts. I could technically do this with 100 accounts. I could easily be making 10,000 gold a day if I wanted to from this method. And there's nothing anybody could do about it because it's completely safe. You're in a dungeon and you can multiply this setup. So basically, uh, because I'm using all these hotkeys and macros, I'm able to uh, broadcast my keys using IS Boxer. And so I can multiply my setup so that I'm actually turning the quest in on two accounts simultaneously. I'm starting the waves of enemies and then I'm killing them all and then looting them on two different sets of accounts. With my multi-boxing setup, I'm getting over 200 gold an hour. And it's easy to see why, because we're literally just multiplying a setup that most people would be doing uh, by themselves with a group of other people. And we're just doing it all ourselves with 10 accounts. So obviously this is, is uh, takes a lot of, of time and effort to set this many accounts up to do this. But the reality is once you're set up and rolling, it's so mindless and easy to do. I've been listening to podcasts while I do it. I've been chilling. I've been relaxing. It's super fun. It's super easy. And you're getting so much loot. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I'm the number one supplier of Runecloth on the Horde side of Fairlina. I'm the number one supplier of uh, Relic Coffer Keys and uh, probably a lot of other items. Like, there, there is an absolute enormous amount of items that are going to drop when you do this, this method. Especially when you're keeping all the loot for yourself. Not to mention, you're going to be looting a lot of raw silver, and that's another good uh, improvement for your gold per hour. Uh, obviously, your gold is going to fluctuate wildly based on if you, if you get the epics or if you get the uh, librams. So it's, it's not always going to be 200 gold an hour the way I'm doing it, but over time, I've gotten a ton of the rare items. And so I'm pretty confident when I say I've, I've been making over 200 gold an hour. And like I said before, I was spending over 200 sappers a day on my multi-boxing PvP setup when World PvP was popular. And... Uh, I had to fund it somehow, right? So this was the method I chose. It's been really, really, really good for me. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing it for a long time. Eventually I'm gonna set up three sets of accounts and I'm gonna be doing over 300 gold an hour, which will be absolutely ridiculous. And it just keeps scaling from there. So if you wanna make the best gold and experience in Classic WoW, you have gotta get to BRD Prison. It's incredible and very, very, very consistent. And the consistency matters, right? You could have a method that's incredibly uh, profitable, but you keep getting ganked by other people or maybe you're competing with bot uh, gold farmers. Ultimately, consistency wins out over the long term. Uh, and I definitely uh, recommend this method. I tell anybody that's leveling an account to do this method. It's incredibly wildly profitable and the XP is unmatched, right? I've been getting up to 110,000 XP an hour on accounts. Uh, when you have rested, that's 220,000 an hour. So it's absolutely ridiculous. And if you abuse rested XP with this method, you could basically uh, get an account from 51 to 60 in two days. No, no question. So I've been doing that. That's how I get so many uh, accounts to level 60. My mages are, uh, are just doing incredibly well with this method. And the best part about it is it's just completely safe. It's completely uh, un uncontested, right? You don't have to worry about getting ganked by 20 random people, for example. It's just a really, really, really consistent method. And uh, I promise you, if you try this method, you will, you will fall in love. It is probably one of my favorite things to do in this game because the, the amount of gold you get is absolutely ridiculous. The amount of XP you get is absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, this method is so good that I'm kind of surprised Blizzard has left it in the game. So a lot of the ridiculously good methods uh, involving turning in quests over and over again have actually been nerfed. So Blizzard has left this in the game. It's kind of surprising, but it's also incredible, especially if you're multi-boxing, but even for solo players that can get a group of uh, four other people to do this. This method is incredibly fun. It's incredibly chill. It's incredibly relaxing. And I cannot recommend it highly enough. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope everyone has an awesome day. And I'll see you in Azeroth.